Okay, so I made some upgrades, some changes to the system here. I put in winches here. There is one. That way, because we have such a small space that, you know, I can't put bags at certain heights, like extra bags. So I use these winches to allow me to lower the bag or raise the bag according to my athletes. Uh, height, you know, so we could lower them to do different things. Uh, I picked these up of Har Harbor Freight Tools, the uh, ton and a half, these for the big ones, so that's 3,000 pounds. And this one uh, was, uh, it's three quarters, three quarter tons. So uh, it's ample enough. I took down the other stuff because they had, even though they carried a load, they won't rate it for, ca for holding load. And that's how they start wearing, the old chains that we have are wearing out because they're not grade 70 or above as far as chains go. So I, I couldn't find uh, grade 80 or 120. So these, these chains are grade 80. Um, so I got these. So it not only can it hold the weight, you know, they can, you could, you could, it could sustain it for a long period of time without wearing out as, as quickly as the other chains that they sell that has the load capacity but can't take like the swinging and they're kind of soft material so they, they wear out faster. So that, that's the upgrades I made. They were like a, $100 a piece uh, at Harbor Freight Tools, except for the three quarter ton, that one was, I believe, 80 bucks, $89. So, um, you know, and I also was able to find the, the toe shackle. Um, I had to take the old one out because it was slightly imbalanced and it was lops, it was bending this sideways because more weight was on one side than the other. Um, so I replaced those. If you ever have to find those at the Home Depot, they, they're in the section where they have uh, things for tow hitches and things like that. They're not in the other section where the hooks and stuff are. They have some in that section, but um, there, there are two sections for, um, for, for hooks and stuff like that. And those are under, in the section where the... Um, where the winches are for, for, for towing vehicles. These are the three quarter inch. For some of these, I had to hammer it in place. Like this one, I had to hammer it in. And this one, I had to hammer it in. But that one and this one, they slid in pretty good. Um, overall, I'm happy with it. Uh, I just had to do something about a chain. Right now, I back fed it up to the top and locked it in place at up top so we could um so if if it does give it'll catch itself um up there the, the full length of the chain won't won't be used at least that's my theory uh, i did the same thing with that i have it hooked up there to get it out of the way and you just have to unhook it as needed when it's time to, to, uh, to crank it up. And I use for this one straps at the top here because the chain that's wrapping around there was rubbing the metal. And I'd rather replace a strap than replace the metal, this whole framing, because metal on metal, they tend to cut through each other. I haven't quite, have, I did that there. I did it up here with that yellow strap. I haven't quite figured out how to, you know, do anything with the eyelet there. I may have to cut a hole or drill a hole through the, the wood above the eye beam, above the beam there, the metal beam, so I could run, you know, one of them yellow straps through on both sides so I can get this thing to prevent the metal on metal rubbing because right now it's hooked into that eyelet that was placed in there. And from past experience, those eyelets rub out. As you can see right here, that one's completely broke. You know, so I have to watch those carefully. Overall, I'm, I'm happy with, with the setup. It, you know, so I'm gonna 
I think this is gonna be the last video I do on this until you know a few months down the line how things work out and hopefully they don't leak or anything if you all have any questions uh, ask it in the comment section down below subscribe have a good day